to Tech Talks. I'm Shika and I'll be sharing with you some interesting tidbits of the latest IT happenings with you in this series. So today we are going to talk about Google's fact check labeling system. Now before we get into what this thing is all about, let me share some interesting information with you that you all might be already aware of. How many of you have gotten under the trap of fake news? Sometimes through WhatsApp or messages or even online when you look for a news, you don't realize that it is actually a fake news. There are so many rumors going around and it's very difficult to actually identify the truth from fake. For example, the few of funniest stories that I have heard is uh, Indian National Anthem is declared the world's best national anthem by UNESCO. Or uh, lately, at the time of the launch of new currency, there were many rumors flying around our currency. Like there is some radioactive chip somewhere in our notes to detect black money. I mean, how is that even possible? Or otherwise, there was also a news that the new Indian currency note is the best currency note declared by UNESCO or God knows who. So all these fake news always keep traveling around in our circles and sometimes it is really easy to identify, okay, this is a fake news, but sometimes it is not actually easy to know the best from the worst. So what Google has now done is it has made its fact check labeling system public and available all over the world. Now, news publishers can actually put a fact check tag at their articles, which will let you know if the news is true or false or mostly true, based on the reviews given by different people. So still, it is not possible for every article and every news publisher to have this fact check tag at their articles. But if you meet all the requirements of Google's fact check system, you can have that tagline supporting your article, making it an actual news from fake news. So this fact check, Google is not actually going and checking every news. It has partnered with two giants, PolityFact and Snoops to help in the process of this fact check. Let me show you both these websites and then we'll move to actual Google News. So this is how politifact.com looks like. It has all the news from people, editions, national, global, etc. And there's this truthometer. Now when you go inside this and you click on all, you'll see all the news with an actual truthometer stating whether it is true or false. So if the meter is below 50, the news is false and otherwise it is mostly true and fake news is this. So you see all the news here. So this news on Donald Trump is actually true, not even mostly true, but completely true. So Polity Fact has this system of checking all the news up there and giving you this truth meter. Similarly, if you go on Snoops, at the very left, you see this fact check tab. So just click on it and you'll get all the news that are fact checked. Now, the DNC staffer said Rich sent thousands of emails to WikiLeaks before he was murdered. Just click on any of the news here and you'll see whether it's proven or unproven, true or false. So if you go back, go to some other news, you actually see that it is false tag. It's totally untrue. Similarly, move below, go to some other news, unproven. If any news is not yet proven by anyone, you will get a question mark tag. Now, PolyFact and Snoops have come together and they are helping Google with this fact check labeling system. So if you now go ahead and Google any news, this one I tried, 27 million people enslaved. So just Google it. The very first article that you see here is fact check by PolitiFact. So if the fact check is by PolitiFact, you will see by PolitiFact or 
you will see by snoops now you will get these three four things in the fact check tag first off what is the claim so the claim is 27 million people today are enslaved claimed by this is the person who has claimed this news or was author of the news now fact check by politifact or snoops and what is the status of the fact check is it false is it true is it mostly true mostly false that you get to see here and the most interesting thing is if you have any issues related to this news right here you can go ahead and click on this feedback so this feedback is enabled for each and every user out there and now i can after reading this article give my feedback on this news whether this was helpful not helpful i don't understand it this violates google's terms of service and all these things and once you click on it all you have to do is send so this one bit was the most interesting part for me where we take feedback from the user really interesting isn't it now you don't have to get bogged down by all the fake news flying around here and there you can just go ahead go to politifact or snoops or even now don't have to go anywhere you will get it right here on the google links whether the news or the article or anything that is mentioned there is fact checked or not i hope you enjoyed the video guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one